Hello, everyone. We just finished our semester two examination for English literature class 10. Most of the boys, most of the students are very excited. They're happy with the paper. It was relatively easy. So if you were thorough with the text, it should have been easy for you as well. Let's discuss the answer key. Let's see what were the right answers. We'll do it together. Section A, MCQ, question one. What did Abu Ben Adam see in his bedroom when he awoke one night? It was a direct sentence from the poor. An angel writing in a book of gold. That is what he saw. This is the correct answer. An angel writing in a book of gold. Question two. Which of the following lines from the poem Nine Gold Medals tells us that the poem describes an international sporting event? Answer is A. The athletes had come from so many countries. Question three, in the poem that Margot wrote, she compares the sun to a flower. Question four, oh, you did write that. Who said these words and to whom? One of the boys said to Margot. Question five, Jesse Owen says that Hitler had kept him under wraps. What does that phrase under wraps mean? It was a carefully concealed secret. Which Olympic event was Jesse Owens confident of winning? The running broad jump. That's the correct answer. The Duke refers to Shylock as a stony adversary. What does the phrase stony adversary mean? It means a hard-hearted enemy. My deeds upon my head, I crave the law, the penalty and profit of my bond. Who says these words and to whom? It is Shylock who says to Portia. Why does a quarrel break out between Nerissa and Graciano in the final act? The reason is A. Graciano admits that he had given away the ring which Nerissa had given to him. The last question, how does Lorenzo recognize Portia even before he sees her when the two young women return from Venice? The answer is by the sound of her voice. Portia says he knows me by my voice like the blind man knows the cook. Section B drama. Of extract, commit me to your honorable wife. So what was the first question? Who was Bassanio's honorable wife, Portia? Why were the two men unaware that she was present in the room with them because she was in disguise? So if you write these two points, you get two marks. What did Antonio urge Bassanio to tell his wife? So he told Bassanio, commend me to your wife, means convey my greetings to her. Tell her the process of Antonio's end. Tell her the manner in which I faced my end and tell her how much I loved you, means how much a good friend I had been to you. Speak me fair in death, speak good about me when I die, and let her be the judge. Bid her be the judge, whether Bassanio had not once a love, means whether Bassanio did not have a very true friend. So all these points will come here. What death was Antonio referring to in the above extract? This is the death that yet he had incurred when uh, the money had been loaned from Shylock. You could write that in a little detail. That was a debt. What does Bassanio say in response to these words of Antonio? He says he is in despair and he says that I have a wife whom I protest and love, but my wife, my life and everything that I have, I'm willing to sacrifice to the devil in order to spare your life. So those words, what do their words, nature of their relationship? They have a very close bond of friendship. Then question three, Lorenzo, how sweet the moonlight sleeps upon this bank. So to whom are these words addressed? Question one, they are addressed to Jessica. What message has just been delivered to Lorenzo? Just delivered. So you have to talk about Launcelot. Launcelot has arrived with the message saying that Bassanio will be home in the morning. That is the answer. Where is the scene set? It is in Belmont. In the avenue leading to Portia's house, you can write that or you can write in the garden. Both will be accepted. Why are Lorenzo and his companion, that is Jessica, at this place? Remember, Portia has entrusted the husbandry and the manager of, house, of the house to Lorenzo before she left for Belmont. That is the reason they are here. Next, how does Lorenzo describe the powerful effect of music on wild animals to his companion? So here you had to write about uh, the illustration he uses about a wild and wanton herd of uh, unhandled goats that are that is wild horses and what do these horses do because they are young they are neighing they are fetching mad bounds 
they are bellowing and why do they do this because they are wild they are young and when they hear music even the sound of a trumpet or any other music what happens to them all of them make a mutual stand the savage look in their eyes turns to a modest gaze thus he has explained how sweet music can have great power even on animals so if these ideas are developed you should get your full three marks Portia and Nerissa arrive on the scene shortly after this. What reason does Portia give for their absence from home? She says, we have been praying for our husband's welfare. What does she instruct Nerissa to do? She tells Nerissa to go into the house and tell the servants that they should not let Basani know that Jessica and Nerissa were absent from the house. Um, sorry, Portia and Nerissa were absent from the house. Uh, she says, take no note of my absence. That is what you have to write. Okay, the next question, section C, question four. This is from All Summer in the Day. So how old were they? They, they that was to the children. All of them were nine years old. That's one mark. Why had they been, what had they been doing until the girl called their attention to the raindrop? So this is that part where you have to describe how were they enjoying the sun? So they were running a, uh, around wildly. They were playing games, hide and seek. They were looking at the sun, squinting up, uh, trying to enjoy the sun as much as they like. They ran around in circles like wild animals. All these points will come here. Why does the girl begin to cry when she looks at the raindrop? So she realizes that the summer in quotes is over. The sun will now fade away and it will begin to rain again. And it will be seven more years when they see the sun again. So therefore she starts to cry. Next question, describe the dramatic change in the weather immediately after the raindrop fell. So here, what you have to describe, you have to describe how did the rain start again? How did the weather change? So this answer is again, towards uh, the end of the uh, lesson. If you look at your text, this answer is on page 114, where the paragraph says, a few cold drops fell on their noses. So what are the points you should write over here? What happened? What was the dramatic change in the weather? So the sun, uh, faded behind a stir of mist. Then a cold wind started to blow. Uh, they started walking towards their underground houses. Then there was a boom of thunder that startled them. And so they started running towards their houses. They were like leaves before a new hurricane. There was lightning. The lightning seemed to draw closer as it struck 10 miles away, five miles away, a mile, half a mile. The sky, the sky darkened into midnight in a flash. So this was the change in the weather. What feeling do they experience at the end of the story? So it is shame and remorse. This is given in the box. What had they done earlier that made them feel this way? They had locked Margot in a closet and had deprived her of the sun. Therefore, now, therefore they are now filled with shame and remorse. Next question. My greatest Olympic prize. Suddenly all the tension seemed to ebb out of my body. This is the extract. What was the truth that Long had just pointed out to Owens? This, this will also take a, a bit of the tip that he gave. So you can just mention that uh, Long uh, said to Owens that he only had to qualify on that particular day. He could easily qualify with his eyes closed. He just had to draw a line a few inches on the back of the board and take his jump from there. He would surely not foul and he would certainly jump far enough to qualify. And he also told him that it doesn't matter if he's not first in the trials, tomorrow is what counts. So this is what uh, was the truth. Early in the narrative, Owens admits to feeling angry. What had caused him to feel this way? He was disturbed. He was upset by the propaganda that Hitler was spreading, the myth that uh, the Nazis were superior or the Germans were a superior race. And uh, if you look at the box also, there's a reference to this propaganda where it says that uh, he had spread the myth, Hitler had spread the myth that uh, a black man could never be successful. So that could, that could also be a part of your answer. Then how did the two athletes spend the night together that night? Again, it's a direct uh, question from the text. So that night, uh, uh, Jesse went to Long, Long's room to express his gratitude. So they sat in the quarters. They talked for two hours about the track and field, about themselves, the world situation, and a dozen other things. So that is how they spent their time. 
what action of long at the finals proved that he was a true sportsman so at the finals what 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 is that he did and he showed that he was a true sportsman so here you should have you should have written that as soon as jesse owens set a new record as soon as he set a new record uh, long was at his side congratulating him he gave him a firm handshake it was uh, it was a firm handshake there wasn't a fake smile on his face and it was not a smile with a broken heart so he genuinely congratulated and it says what made his behavior remarkable one thing you can write is he appreciated uh, owens uh, when even though he had been a rival and one other detail you could have written was there was hitler in the stands standing there glaring at him and despite that he went ahead congratulating uh, jesse owen so that also could be a point that could be considered section d the poetry section abu ben adam may his tribe increase what does the poet mean by the words may his tribe increase he means may there be more people like abu you can also add over here he is pronouncing a blessing on abu ben adam mention any two words which the poet uses in the poem that are no longer in use so words that are no longer in use are referred to as archaic words you know plenty of those words when you read mov in this case which are some of the words you could write you can write uh, righteous you can write the word thou you can write the word nay uh, then yes i think these are some of the words you can write so there is righteous thou and nay next three different name lists are mentioned in the poem the angel speaks of two and abu ben adam mentions the third what are they so there are three lists what are the three lists the first list is the list of those who love the lord the second list is the names of those who love his fellow men and third list is the list which shows the names whom love of god had blessed so there are three different lists three direct marks you will get and finally question number 7 from nine gold medals that's how the race ended so how exactly did the race end again it's a direct question it ended with nine gold medals each of them was awarded a medal why was it awarded if you want you can write the authorities um, recognize the brilliant show of empathy that could be one point you can add add otherwise i'm sure if you just tried that all of them were awarded a gold medal each i think they should be considered good enough who were they they were the athletes you can add over here they were differently abled how do we know they had put in a lot of uh, effort to qualify for the games so you can quote that line they had spent months weeks and months in training why were they holding hands and smiling when they reached the finish line this this could take a little uh, uh, thinking out of the box because there's no direct answer to this you could uh, you could also write that uh, there is and uh, you could assume that everybody in the audience perhaps gave them a standing ovation when they saw the brilliant show of empathy so why were they holding hands and smiling because at the end they were all uh, praised they were all appreciated each of them was given a gold medal the other reason could be they realized that they had uh, triumphed over uh, competition what they had shown was the spirit of cooperation they had been empathetic to each other and they were smiling because they knew that what they had done was the right thing what did the banner over them say it said special olympics why does the poet consider these words an appropriate description yes it, indeed it was a special uh, event because what happened at the event was indeed special it was not that you say in common, you see in uh, common everyday life and you can give a small description on what had happened the youngest one how he had uh, he how he had had a fall and then how did the others react so a little bit of description and it should have been a good answer so that's it uh, children i'm uh, i'm glad the paper was not very difficult and i really hope you have all done very well thank you so much happy learning